parent, this scene is probably all too familiar with the floor, covered in toys, but how many is too many? Mm, mostly Lego. Mm. New research shows millennial parents are overwhelmed by the number of toys their kids have. And it is any surprise when the toy industry here in Australia pulls in a whopping $3.7 billion each year. Parenting expert Lael Stone joins us now from Melbourne. Good morning to you. Now, despite the cost of living crisis, Aussie kids have more toys now than ever before. Why? Well, I think there's a few things going on. I mean, firstly, we're living in that kind of uh, sorry, consumerism society these days where I think we've got that, that story and belief that, that more is better. But we know even when it comes to toys that, you know, the more toys doesn't actually equate to happiness in children. I also think, too, you know, that parents are very busy these days and the more things that we can do to keep our kids occupied and entertained then allows us to kind of keep all those balls in the air and, and do the, all the things that we need to do. So are we bribing them too much, are we? Well, I don't know if we're bribing too much, but I think we're trying to just all get our needs met. And I come back to kind of this, the best toy really for kids is sometimes actually us. So even though we can give our kids all the toys, you know, that are there, really what children often want is a bit of that connection time with us. So even though we might buy them the fanciest stuff, I find that even 20 minutes of, of play with our kids where we can just be present with them, we don't look at our phones, we don't make a cup of tea, sometimes that can be the actual best toy that we can, uh, that we can give. Yeah, the big problem there is time constraints right you know we're working mm. more than ever uh, we're so busy um, in terms of kids toys is there one that is good or, or a few that are good for them I think any toys that promote creativity, imagination and that open-ended play is brilliant. So, so children kind of process life through play and they also learn a lot through playing. So I think any toys that give us that open-ended experiences are usually the best. I mean, many parents mm. will know you could buy them the fanciest toy and then they end up playing with a cardboard box that yeah. it actually came in, right? And that actually promotes more creativity and imagination than anything. Yeah. So we used to be told, go outside and play without <laughs> anything. get out. Yeah, just use your imagination. Does that happen as much anymore? I don't think it does because I think we're, we're really used to being entertained a lot of the time and that's what we're seeing a lot with children and I think the more we can get kids into nature, the more we can get them using their imagination is a great thing. So mm. I really do think when it comes to toys, less is more yeah. and giving our children opportunities to use their imagination and be creative is one of the best things we can do. Mm. Less is more. Great way to sum it up. Thanks, Lael. Yeah, good reminder, isn't it? Mm.